So here we are in a brand new project. First thing I'm going to do is just make the portal. You know, just make make a little frame around it so we can really see what's going on. And we're also going to add the shader in there. So I'm just going to create an empty game object. We could call it portal. First thing I'm going to do is uh, make the frame. So I just create a, a cube. Right, and this is going to be like our, our left wall. So I'll call it, you guessed it, left wall. Okay, and the, that's going to be, um, it's only going to be, say, 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters thick and uh, 2 meters high and 10 centimeters deep. And it's also going to be half, uh, 50 centimeters to the left. So negative 0.5 on the x-axis. We're also going to position it uh, uh, one meter up, which means that the the center of our portal game object will be the floor, which means it'll be very easy for us to place in an AR world. Okay, we can even just uh, quickly duplicate that as well, and we'll just call this one right wall, and we can just change that to uh, positive 0.5 on the x-axis. Positive 0.5 on the x-axis. There we go. Lovely. Okay, and now we'll just make a little. Uh, I suppose you. I suppose you call it a, a roof. It's not really a roof. I can't think of a better word for it. Just call it a roof. Reset that, and that's going to be that's going to be yet yeah, one meter wide, uh, 0.5 meters high. Uh, sorry, 0.1 meter high, and 0.1 meter thick. It's going to be. Well, if we put it two meters high, we're actually going to get a little bit of a, a gap up here. So we can just take that down to. A 1.95. That'll be nice and flush. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to create what we're going to call the portal window, and that'll be the the functional part of our portal. That's just a quad. Reset the position. Um, again, move it up up one on the y-axis. That's going to be two meters high, and that's all we got to do for the for the window. I'll just rename it. Rename it portal window. Okay, now we can throw all these uh, all these objects inside our portal. Make sure that it's all it's all uh, it's all nice, neat, and tidy on our positions. You know, everything's nice and reset. Okay, and and now we can now we can work on our uh, our, our material and the shader for our portal window. So we'll create a new a new folder. We're going to call this shaders. We're going to jump in there. Go create shader, unlit shader. Uh, we'll call this. Call this a uh, portal uh, window. Just portal window. That'll be fine. And we can open that up. Now it's going to start off with a whole bunch of stuff. The good news is, thanks to Unity's uh, trademark Shader Lab, we're able to do things like this, which is just remove absolutely everything, almost almost everything. And now we just go into uh, just going to change this name to custom. So that we got our own folder that it's going to appear in when we're choosing our material, and now we're just going to create our in underneath sub shader. Uh, we, we're going to create our stencil, and we're just going to say we're going to only going to say two things. First of all, ref one, which means we're talking about the number one. Whatever we're, when we're comparing, what are we comparing? What are we comparing against? We're going to say is it equal to one? Uh, uh, or we're always going to do it, or is it going to be not equal to one? But but one's going to be the number that we're going to set it to. And how we set it is we say uh, pass, uh, pass, and we say um, replace. So what's that doing? That's saying the default. The default for a comparison of like, w all right. So what's going on with the stencil? Is it a one? The default is I don't care. I'm always going to. I'm always gonna. I'm always gonna pass. If we if we don't specify, it's always gonna pass. We can just say pass replace. We could put in out of interest comp always, but that's the default. So we don't need to do that. And that's how we we would compare. Okay. So yeah. So that's everything for the stencil. Now we need to also make sure at the moment it's gonna do two things we don't want it to do. One is it's gonna still draw uh, draw colors. It'll be might be pink because we haven't specified anything. And the other is it's also going to write to the Z buffer. The problem with it writing to the Z buffer is by default all of our other objects will fail what we call the Z test, which means oh because there's something written to the Z buffer in front of me, then I'm not going to render. And we want it to render, so we can just say Z write off, and that's going to say I'm, I won't write to the Z buffer. And also we can say color mask. Zero, and that's going to say we, we're not we're not writing any colors. This is going to be a transparent, transparent shader. 
really the, the all we got to do is this stencil all right, and, and now and that's pretty much it for the all oh, right line five um, oh you know what I've done I've, I've, I've put me semicolon in the wrong place there we go see how that one goes oh perfect okay and now we're going to create a material for this shader so we put that in the materials folder and we're going to give it the same name, just call it a portal window material. Now we should be able to find it in custom portal window. There we go. And we can put that straight onto our, onto our thing and oh, and look at that, it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Which is exactly exactly what we want it to be doing at this point. Okay, so next up we'll, uh, we'll put in our, um, our shader for all our objects inside the scene. And see how, see how that looks.